Hi everyone. So I look totally different than what this next video is going to look like, but this is my part two of my 2017 beauty favorites and it's not as long as the other one, but it is kind of long. So sit down, grab a snack and watch what my beauty favorites are and hopefully you can find your new beauty favorites for 2018 with this video. So yeah, let's get to the video. Okay. So first off, I'm just going to start with a couple of like my everyday essential items that I use that aren't really beauty, but it's skincare kind of taking care of your body. So yeah, let's start off with these items. For one, is this toothpaste. This toothpaste is the Hello Fluoride Free Whitening Toothpaste. And I really, really love this toothpaste because for one, I've always had like sensitive teeth and like last year not in 2017 but in 2016 like my teeth got like super sensitive where i couldn't even drink like a room temperature water like my teeth were so sensitive so i started using sensodyne and all of that and it worked for a little bit and my teeth would be sensitive here and there but i did a lot of research and i really didn't like to use fluoride on my teeth anymore so i switched to this fluoride free toothpaste and i absolutely love it like I love it because like the first week my teeth were kind of sensitive but after that like they're not sensitive anymore and this not this isn't even like a sensitive sensitivity toothpaste and so I really like it because it's natural and it's free from dyes artificial sweeteners like it doesn't have fluoride in it it had to, it's just paraben free it's free of a lot of things and I really love it my kids use it I use it and I love it so yeah Next item is this Schmidt's natural deodorant. I think it's very important for you for you to use natural deodorant and not to use deodorant that has aluminum in it because aluminum is like one of the most toxic chemicals that you can put into your body and you use deodorant every day from the time you like hit puberty till the time you die. So you're just pouring in that aluminum into your body and it's just really horrible. So I really like this natural deodorant, the Schmitz kind. I, in order for me to use the actual regular one, I kind of have to do a routine. I don't use it at night when I get out of the shower, so like I'm deodorant free while I'm in bed, but I don't really sweat and I don't really stink throughout the night, so it doesn't bother me. So in the morning I wake up, I can't use it right after I shave. That's the only thing. I can't use it right after I shave, but I take a shower at night. So when I wake up in the morning, I usually just like get a washcloth, I wash underneath my arms, I put coconut oil on, and then I put this on over it. And I make sure this is underneath my arm for a little bit so it kind of melts it. And it works out perfect for me. It doesn't bother me or doesn't irritate me like if I just went in and just did it right away. But the sensitive kind is really good to just go right in. But you have to order the sensitive kind online and it's kind of expensive to pay like $8 for deodorant and shipping. So it's just like not worth it to me. So I just go to the store and I get this at Target or Fry's and it's like four or five bucks. So it's a good deal. So next we're going to move into makeup. I'm going to talk about palettes first. So first, I'm going to talk about a contour palette. Like, I'm only talking about this because this is like my everyday contour that I use every single day and what I've been using for the past few months and what I really love out of any other contour palette that I have. And it is this Tarte, Tarte Clay Play palette. Now, I only use this shade right here, Terracotta. I use this shade to contour my nose. I use this shade to... Um, contour my face like it's like the perfect shade and what's really awesome that I noticed is new at Sephora is they have a Tarte Clay Play 2 palette and it actually has just this terracotta shade it has a Tarte Amazonian clay blush and it has a highlight and then it has a bunch of like natural shades that are matte and shimmery and I really really want to get that palette because I know it will be good because the, most of these shades in this palette like I don't really use like it's, I've never really used them and there's really no use for me to use them. So I don't really use those shades and I think that if I got the second palette, I would use all those shades because I love the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. I love their highlights. Like they had shimmer shades, natural shades. It just seems like a really, really good palette. Like they took what was wrong with this palette and they fixed it and put it in a new palette and I really like that and I really want to get that palette. So I like that terracotta shade for a contour. It's like my favorite contour. So I had to mention that. Next, I'm going to talk about eyeshadow palettes. So this next palette that I got, I recently got it. I probably got it in like November 
when Sephora had that sale, that at their semi-annual, I don't remember what it's called, their sale that they have where you get like 15% off. I bought this palette and when I got it from November to today, I have used every single one of these shadows. And I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and I can't say that about any other eyeshadow palette besides this one. So I think it was worth for me to talk about. It's total splurge, it's like $65, which is super expensive. But to me, it's totally worth it. It's the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. If you like shades that are like this, like if you love these tones and these shades, you are going to absolutely love this palette. I have used every single shade in this palette, I think, besides this one, Musk. I think that's the only one I haven't used. And I haven't used the glitter because I don't have glitter glue. And yeah, I need to get glitter glue so I can use that one. But... I pretty much have used every single shade and it's really like not normal for me to use like all the shimmers and all the mattes and everything in a palette and this palette I've used it all. I've used it multiple times like from November to now I have used this eyeshadow palette more than I've used like other eyeshadow palettes which says a lot for a couple months so I think it was worth it to talk about it. The eyeshadows are so creamy. Some of them are pigmented and some of them don't have a lot of fallout some of them do which I kind of like and I think it just is just perfect like this twilight shade is beyond like gorgeous it's my favorite shadow in the entire palette it's just it's so pretty as a topper shade and how it goes on like I absolutely love it if you just it's just so pretty I love it I love this eyeshadow palette I think it's totally worth your money it's $65 I know that's a lot for an eyeshadow palette but to me this eyeshadow palette was worth it to me because I use it all the time. It's so pretty. It has a mirror. It has all the shade names right there. Everything about it is just perfect. And I love it and I would recommend it. And I know Sephora has another sale in like April, I think, where they give you like the 10 or 15% off. I would get this palette when that sale comes around because it's really worth it. Okay, next is like an eyeliner for your waterline. My eyes are like super watery, probably because I have allergies, but my eyes water easily. Like every time I put eyeliner in my waterline, it just runs down my face and it just gets everywhere and I hate it. Like I hate doing that. So I've tried so many eyeliners that I've gotten, beauty subscription boxes that I've purchased that, because I've been doing that, putting water eyeliner in my waterline since I was like in high school. So I've tried them all and none of them have worked besides these two. These two are like my go-tos. One is this Beauty For Real eyeline. It's like a 24-7 eyeliner. I don't know if it's like waterproof, but this freaking sucker will stay on my eyes. I don't have any more of it. I need to order more. But I saved this because I want to remember this because I got it in a beauty subscription box. And you can only order it online. I think it's like 12 bucks, which isn't too bad. It's not 20 bucks. It's not 5 bucks, but it's 12 bucks. And I really, really think it's very very good eyeliner and it really does stay on my eyes and my eyes water so this genuinely works the next eyeliner i have is this nyx retractable eyeliner crayon i can't find this in the store anymore i don't know what happened to it i can't find it i bought it at ulta like in april when i ran out of it i can't find it again i've been looking and i'll probably have to order it online but this is like five bucks and this actually does stay on my eyes like it i have watery eyes and it really does or stays on my waterline it sometimes it can come off and it can run but not as much as other ones this one is my go-to definitely okay next I'm gonna talk about mascara I have probably two mascaras I like went through this phase where I was using like three mascaras so I narrowed it down to the mascaras like I really love the most and one is this drugstore mascara it's the L'Oreal voluminous lash paradise mascara what sucks about this mascara is it dries out very fast like within a month it dries out very fast but it's very good like I have no eyelashes my eyelashes go they just go down and this really helps them stick up and stick out there like I really really love this mascara especially in the summertime it works perfectly the waterproof mascara does but anyways I think this mascara is really good I highly suggest it especially if you have no eyelashes and that they point down because that's what my eyelashes do Okay, the next one that I love is this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. The only thing I don't like is this, this happened. It just, just comes off. And I paid like freaking 18 bucks for this mascara. But 
Other than that, I really love this. It does the same thing as the L'Oreal one does. It's just more high end and it probably gives me a little bit more volume and it probably separates my lashes more and doesn't get as clumpy as the L'Oreal one does. So this one works absolutely great. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna talk about one more eye product. This is a glitter. And this is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. This stuff right here, like, is just a life changer. Like, if I could buy every single color of glitter in this, I would. If it wasn't $24. It's $24 for this. It's totally expensive. But if you love glitter and you really love it, then it's totally worth your money to go and buy one of these in, like, your favorite glitter color that you like to wear. This one is in Kitten Karma, and I love this one because it's a total, like, pink shade. Oh, my God. Do you see this? Look at this. It's like a rose, rose gold kind of color, but it has so much glitter. So much. This does not budge. It does not move. It does not crease. It doesn't, like, you don't get glitter all over your face. It just doesn't do any of that. It's perfect. Like, it's a perfect glitter formula. I don't know what they did, but this is worth your money if you love glitter. You need this in your life. All right, everyone. So that was part two of my 2017 beauty favorite. And I had pretty much everything that was there. I'm glad I did a part two. And so, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I definitely will be doing a 2018 favorites next year. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time.